Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a great book tonight that came to me from one of my friends. Actually, two of my friends. Bodie and Lily brought this book in to me. They're brother and sister. And from what I understand, this is one of Bodie's favorite books. And now, this book is a little different than our usual books because it's really, really big. It's such a big book. It's very heavy. It's a big book because it has five different stories in it. Look at this. All these different pages and all these different stories. Now we can't read all of them at once, so we have to read them one at a time. We've already read a couple of them. Do you remember Click Clack Moo? Click Clack Moo with Farmer Brown and the Duck? That's in here. That was a really, really good book. And let me see what else we have. Let me see. Giggle, giggle, quack. Giggle, giggle, quack. We read that, and that's in here. Another good book. Now, the next story in this book is called Dooby Dooby Moo. Dooby Dooby Moo. That's a silly title for a book. I wonder what that's about. I wonder what that crazy duck is up to. We're going to have to get in here and turn these pages and find out what happens in Dooby Dooby Moo. Remember, we've been reading these books. They're all written by Doreen Cronin. And the pictures are drawn by Betsy Lewin. Great pictures of that duck and his friends. we got to get in here and find out what duck is up to now. Do you want to read Dooby Dooby Moo with Miss Dorothy? Great. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Farmer Brown keeps a very close eye on his animals. Every night he listens outside the barn door. Dooby dooby moo, the cows snore. Fa la 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 ba, the sheep snore. Wacka wacka quack, duck snores. Farmer Brown's checking to make sure everybody's asleep in the barn. Duck keeps a very close eye on Farmer Brown. <clears throat> Every morning, Duck borrows his newspaper. One day, an ad catches his eye. Talent show, open to all. Country fair, Saturday. First prize, a trampoline. Second prize, a box of chalk. Third prize, veggie chop Duck is reading the newspaper and sees that there's going to be a talent show in town. As soon as Farmer Brown opened his paper, he knew what the animals were up to something. Uh-oh, Duck must have cut that ad out of Farmer Brown's paper. Farmer Brown watched them closely all day. He watched them from above. He watched them from below. He even watched them upside down. Outside the barn late at night, he heard Dooby Dooby Moo, Fa La 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 Ba, Wacka Wacka Quack. Sounds like they're sleeping. Inside the cows rehearsed Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Dooby 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 Moo, Dooby Moo 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 Moo. Needs work, Duck noted. The sheeps rehearsed Home on the Rain. Ba 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 Ba. Fa la 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 ba, fa la 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 ba ba ba. Duck had them try it again with more feeling. Duck is trying to get them all to sing for the talent show. The pigs did an imperturbative dance. Wacka wacka quack, snored Duck. He was not impressed with the pigs dancing. Day after day, Farmer Brown kept a very close eye on the animals. He watched them from the left. He watched them from the right. He even watched them in disguise. He's dressing up like somebody else so they won't know he's watching them. Outside the barn, night after night, he heard, Dooby dooby moo, fa la 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 ba, quack a quack a quack. Inside the barn, Night after night, the animals rehearsed. Finally, it was time for the county fair. Duck was pacing back and forth. The pigs were combing their hair. The cows were drinking tea with lemon. 
They're up to something, thought Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown was not going to leave them alone. He loaded all the animals into the back of his truck and drove to the fair, which is exactly what Duck wanted to happen. When he got there, he heard, Dooby dooby moo, fa la 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 ba, whack a whack a quack. He thinks they're asleep. He parked his truck and headed off to the free barbecue. When Farmer Brown was out of sight, the animals ran to the talent show desk and signed in. Cows, sheep, pigs. They all signed up for the talent show and Farmer Brown doesn't even know it. The cows sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Dooby 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 moo, dooby moo 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 moo. Two of the judges were clearly impressed, but two of them were not. The sheep, sheep sang Home on the Range. Fa la 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 ba, fa la ba, ba 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 ba, ba ba ba. Three of the judges were clearly impressed. One was not. It was time for the pig's interpretive dance, but they were sound asleep. Shoink, oink, 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 oink. And the judges were clearly annoyed. Duck really wanted that trampoline. He jumped up on the stage and sang, Born to be Wild. Quack, 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 quack. The judges gave him a standing ovation. When Farmer Brown got back to the truck, he heard, Dooby dooby moo, fa la 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 ba, whack a whack a quack. The animals were exactly where he had left them. He thought they were there sleeping the whole time. That night, Farmer Brown listened outside the barn door. Dooby dooby boing, fa la 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 boing. Wacka wacka, boing! That doesn't sound like snoring. Because they were all jumping on the new trampoline. That crazy, crazy duck. He took all his friends to the fair to be in a talent contest. He had them singing and doing all kinds of stuff. And then they won. And they won the giant trampoline. And now look, the cow and the pig and the duck are all jumping on a trampoline. That seems a little dangerous to me. But it looks like they're having some fun. These are fun, fun books. Too long to read all at once. But you know what we can do? Let's peek ahead at what comes next. Hmm, if we turn the pages in the book and see what the next story is, it's called Duck for President. Duck for President. That's going to be interesting. You know what? I think the next time we come back to Goodnight Lighthouse, we will read Duck for President together. We can't do it tonight. This book's too big and we got to go to bed. But the next time you come back, we're going to read Duck for President and finish up this book that Bodie and Lily brought into Miss Dorothy. This will be a lot of fun. I'm glad that you came to see it. Now you have to come back. You have to come back to see me read Duck for President. And you have to tell me what book you want me to read. So after I'm done with Bodie and Lily's book, I can read yours. You can do that, can't you? Great. Before we go to bed, though, Miss Dorothy wants to pray about her friends. I'm so thankful for Bodie and Lily and that they brought this book in for me. I'm so thankful for you that you keep coming back to hear more stories. So let's fold our hands and close our eyes and pray together, okay? Here we go. Dear God, thank you for my friends. Thank you that they love coming to hear my stories. Please watch over them tonight. Protect them. Keep them safe. Help them to always love reading, to enjoy hearing books, and to one day learn how to read so that they can learn more about you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, duck. Time to get off to bed. No mischief like the duck in this book. I need you to get into your bed, cuddle up, curl up, get ready for a good night's sleep, and be sure to come back and see Miss Dorothy real soon. And until you do, don't be like a duck. Obey and obey right away. And I'll see you real soon. 